Hello everybody, this is Pitch Girl Black here and Focus, good boy. And welcome back to another Dog 2 book unboxing. This is Underworld Updates number 22 and today in this video I'm going to be unboxing some version books that I recently purchased off of Amazon. Excluding postage, one of them was 33 pence, another one of them was 30 pence, another one of them was, and the other one was only a penny. Yeah, I got a Dog 2 book for a penny. That's pretty insane. So, without further ado, let's begin this unboxing. And these are Virgin Books, as you would have probably guessed by the title. Okay, then let me arrange these in order. Aha, lovely, 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 lovely. Woohoo! Okay then, so let's go over the books that I got in this uh, lot. For the one that I was, that I believe was 33 pence, I got Love and War. And all of these are highly regarded um, virgin uh, new adventures. Uh, so yeah, so let's take a look at the cover. The new Doc 2 adventures, Love and War, Paul Cornell. And then for the cover itself, we have the TARDIS in this little archway. Planet on the background, on this kind of like grassy field. Uh, we have Benny Summerfield, uh, who is about to shoot this kind of uh, creature or the monster from uh, Love and War. The Nose the Spine, uh, Love and War, Paul Cornell, and the new Doc Who logo or the Sylvester McCoy uh, logo. <coughs> <coughs> On a planet called Heaven, all hell is breaking loose. LOL. Heaven is a paradise uh, for both humans and draconians, a place for rest in more, than, more ways than one. The doctor comes here on a trivial mission to find a book, or so he says, an ace wandering alone in the city becomes involved with a uh, charismatic traveller called Jan. Uh, but the doctor is strenuously opposed to the romance. What is he trying to prevent? Is he planning some more deadly game connected with the mysterious objects causing the military forces of heaven such concern? Archaeologist Bernice Summerfield thinks so. Her destiny is inextricably linked uh, with that of the Doctor, but even she may not be able to save Ace from the Time Lord's plans. This time has the Doctor gone too far. Then you've got the uh, new the new adventures, Doctor Who. Uh, Paul Cornell is the author of Time Ruin Revelation, described by the fame as memorable, thought provoking, and witty. His play Kingdom, uh, his play Kingdom Come, was one of six winners of the Who's debut on uh, Two. A regular contributor for to television magazines, he lives in Lanc in Lanc Lancaster. God, I'm so excited! I can't even talk. Um, then you've got miscellaneous things down here and that was the first book love and war now moving on to the book that i got for um 30 pence i believe uh the highest science <coughs> and yes all of these are highly regarded version new adventures so we have the new doctor who adventures uh the high science by gareth roberts then for the cover uh, itself we have this kind of uh, rocky wasteland uh with the seventh doctor here very nice uh, picture of the seventh doctor then here you've got a tank uh, the TARDIS all the way down here and some Chelonians uh, and then there's the spine the highest science Gareth Roberts and the Sylvester McCoy Doc 2 logo uh, Sakrat uh, many legends speak of this world home of an ancient empire destroyed by its own greatest achievement the highest science the pinnacle of technologi technological discovery. When the TARDIS alerts the Doctor and Bernice to the presence of an enormous temporal f fluctuation on a large green unremarkable planet, they are not uh, to know of any connection with the legend. But the connection is there, and it will be connected with the monstrous Chelonians, with their contempt for human uh, parasites, into an adventure with a group of youngsters whose musical taste has suddenly become dangerously significant and will force them to face uh, Shadolka, the most wanted criminal in the galaxy. Then you've got the new Doc 2 adventures. Uh, born in Am Amasaham, which is a place I've never heard of, Buckinghamshire, uh, 
Gareth Roberts has been uh, variously a civil servant, a drama student, and a comedy writer and performer. The Highest Science is his first novel. Uh, and then you've got a few miscellaneous things down here. So yeah, and now on to the book that I got for only a penny, and that is Blood Heat. Uh, with a very interesting cover. Um, kind of reminds me of um, In the Forest of the Night, uh, for kind of obvious reasons, um, which is really not a good thing at all. Uh, the New Doc 2 Adventures, uh, Blood Heat, Jim Mortimer. Um, uh, and then here you've got. <coughs> And then for the cover itself, uh, so in this kind of jungly kind of uh, area, we have a few pterodactyls flying around uh, what I believe is St. Paul's Cathedral. Uh, then here you have a Silurian riding a T Rex, which is pretty badass. Then here you've got the TARDIS down here in this kind of bog. Um, very nice cover, I like the colours of it. Um, Blood Heat, Jim Mortimer, and the Sylvester McCoy Doc 2 logo. Uh, uh, Not Men Ace. Silurians, the original rulers of the Earth. The TARDIS is attacked by an alien force. Venice is flung into the vortex, and the Doctor and Ace crash land on Earth. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> an attack by dinosaurs convinces the Doctor that he and Ace have arrived in the Jurassic era. But when they find a woman being hunted by intelligent reptiles, he begins to suspect that something is very wrong. Then they meet the uh, M bittered uh, Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart, leading the remnants of Unit in a hopeless f uh, fight against the Silurians, who rule his world, and they find out that it all uh, began when the Doctor died. Then here you've got a little logo for the 30th anniversary of Doctor Who, uh, because obviously this was published uh, in 1993, the 30th anniversary of Doctor Who. Uh, full length original novels based on the longest running science fiction television series of all time. The BBC Stock 2. The new adventures takes the TARDIS into previously unexplored realms of uh, space and time. Jim Mortimer is an award winning computer graphics designer and musician. He is the author with Andy Lane of the highly acclaimed Lucifer Rising. And then down here you've got um, a few miscellaneous things. And that pretty much concludes Underworld update number 22. Select like Faircom Skype. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and see you uh, shortly later today um, in hopefully a instalment of the uh, in the first instalment of uh, the Skulls general reviews. So like, follow, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and also see you on the Hoovian High Council. Pitch Girl Black, dematerializing.